In this lesson, we will look at a binomial experiment of rolling a pair of dice three times. Specifically, the question asks, what is the probability of rolling a total of seven exactly once if we roll a pair of dice three times? So pretend that you're rolling a dice three times, and out of the three times that you roll these dice, in one run exactly, you get a pair of sevens. To answer this question effectively, first we need to learn what the probability of rolling a seven is. And for that, you need to know the different combinations that will lead you to seven. To organize our work, I'll write down die one and die two. That's the singular form for the word dice, which is two or more. One combination is one and six. That gives a sum of seven. You also have two and five, three and four. The opposite is true where you have six and one, five and two, and four and three. The probability of rolling any two numbers is one in 36. For example, the probability of rolling any number between one and six is one over six for the first die. And the probability of rolling any number in die two is one over six. Multiplying these out, we get one over 36. So there is a six and 36 chance of rolling a seven. That's one over six. Now, because we think of this experiment as occurring in three stages, rolling the dice the first time, the second time, and the third time, we can represent the answer to this question by drawing out a tree diagram. So in our first roll, we have two situations where you get a seven, and there's a one in six chance of that happening. So this is seven. And there's a five and six chance of not getting a seven. So I'll write down non seven. That's your first rule. In the second rule, again, there's a one in six chance of getting a seven and five and six, a non seven. Same thing here. And again, our third rule, which is the third set of branches here. And let me just completely write this down. So this is getting a seven, not getting a seven, getting, not. Let's look at a pathway that leads to rolling a seven once. So one of the pathways is it goes, we roll a seven the first time, and then we don't roll, and then we don't roll. How about we don't roll a seven on the first try, then we do roll and we don't roll. I forgot to write down non seven and seven. And a third pathway is that we don't roll in the first round. We don't roll in the second round, but we do roll in the third. So to represent this pathway mathematically, we can write down the probability of yes for that first roll, no and no for the second and third. And we can calculate the probability by multiplying one over six times five over six times five over six. The probability for this one, it is no for the first round, yes for the second and no for the third. Five over six times one over six times five over six. And you can kind of see the pattern that it is the same. The probability for that last one is no for the first, no for the second, and yes for the third. Again, five over six times five over six times one over six. All of these will multiply to the same outcome. Six times six times six is 216. And five times five is 25. So they all have this probability. To get the probability of exactly one seven in three rolls, we add these up to get 75 over 216. And there you have it. That is a binomial experiment of rolling a pair of dice three times.